today's video is five exercises that you can do daily and um, that only take about five to seven minutes but you will see a huge difference with your voice get control of your breath extend your range um, and just kind of get more familiar with what your voice can do I guarantee that if you do these exercises daily and they will only take five to seven minutes every single day, and let's face it, everybody does have that time. And um, if you do these, then for the next month or so, you will see huge improvements with your voice. So the first exercise that we are going to do is all about our breath control and support. So this first one, we're gonna take a nice deep breath and then we're gonna exhale with a shh. Now, this exhale is to see how far we can go with controlling that breath. We don't want to release all the breath right at the beginning. We want to hold a nice, steady stream of, of breath. Our aim is to try and hold it for around about the 30 second mark. That is very ambitious, but if you do this daily, you'll be able to creep up in that um, exhale. We want to be breathing down to the diaphragm, like always, and really extend those uh, the rib cages and use up that lung capacity. So, deep breath in for me. And exhale with a shush. Keep going. Nice and steady. Relax your shoulders. Well done. Now, continuing that, we're now going to do a sound. So, again, take a nice deep breath. Exhale with a s Keep going. Okay, so it looks like even I need to be doing these daily. This change of season is obviously getting to me. <laughs> um, so yeah, just look at that. Uh, lung support, breath capacity, breath support, lung capacity, um, and getting that stronger and bigger each day. Our second exercise is going to be a siren. So we're gonna say that sung word and we're gonna siren from the bottom of our range all the way up to the top of our range. Again, extending the range and looking through, uh, smoothing over for any breaks that you may have between your chest voice, your mixed voice and your head voice. So with me, let's siren on a sung. Sung. One more for me. Sung. Well done, and now do one on your own and just think about extending it that little bit further. Maybe speed it up as well and smooth over those breaks whenever you're ready. Lovely, and now our third exercise that we can do each day is gonna be our trill. Whether it be a lip trill or a tongue trill, it's great to loosen up our lips, relax the soft palate and stretch out the tongue. First one is our uh, lip trill. I struggle with this, so if you do as well, just pinch in those cheeks gently, place the fingers here to help you get that. And again, going through that vocal range. <laughs> Well done. Do another lip one for me. Mm. 
And then let's go into the tongue one, which I much prefer. And then whichever one you prefer, the lip or the tongue, I'm going to do the tongue one. Well done. Make sure that each time you do it, you're extending further past that range. Now we're just going to stretch out our mouth and go through our mouth movements. So relax that out. We never actually spend that much time, unless you're in a singing lesson, really working that mouth out. So doing it daily will increase that flexibility and make the notes feel a little bit crisper and clearer to control. Now we're just going to do our silent mouth movements, the me, me, my, my move, just cycle through. Again. One more time for me. Well done. Okay, and now our last and final exercise will require a keyboard. You can check back in on this video daily, but the idea is for you to use that ear training and ear to voice capability and learn these major scales. It's very important that as a singer, you should be able to sing a major scale very comfortably and in control. So, we're going to start with a la, going all the way up and back down again. So just to recap, our first exercise is that breath support, lung capacity, the stamina of the voice and the breath control by breathing out with a shh and a sss, really allowing the control of that voice and, and that breath to come through. Our second one is our siren, expanding that range in a very soft and gentle way. The second one is that trill, again with expanding the range, but also relaxing our lips, loosening the soft palate, and just kind of like getting more engaged with our mouth. The fourth one is stretching our mouth out so we feel less stiff when we go to sing. And that fifth one is being able to sing a major scale, hopefully eventually without the keyboard, but just to kind of, at the drop of a hat, just sing one through and mark where your rate, what's happening with your vocal qualities through those range, through the, that range. Are you breaking from that chest to that mix? Then maybe over the course of the 30 days, try and push through and strengthen the voice so you're not breaking as early. Four out of five of these exercises don't even require um, an instrument. And so because of that, you can literally do it anywhere um, at your house and you know with friends without disturbing anybody. Um, so that I know can be really helpful as well. So enjoy these five daily singing exercises that you can do wherever that just take five to seven minutes. Have a great day. My name is Lacey. Feel free to subscribe along um, and follow for weekly singing warm-ups and tips and, you know, all things vocal. Have a great day.